in this advanced block video lecture we will look into the dynamic block features and its capabilities and how we can use on our drawing that we will look into so if you go to the home tab here you can see the block options and here you can create a block the purpose of the block is to create a set of drawing objects under a single family object if you go to create here you can have couple of options you will get the block definition dialog box and here you need to define the name so let us say this block name is landline phone land lp let us say and we have to define the base point out of this whole drawing i am defining the base point here maybe the this point this basically the insertion point when repeatedly you need to use this particular block and I will convert this to block and you can see here no object selected so I need to select the object I am selecting this object and I will go for enter then you can see the preview here as well as the 37 objects selected and here I can go for scale uniformly so that you can do the scaling of this block whenever required and allow exploding dodge a fantastic work if you select this you can edit your particular landline phone for a different features and you can edit and you can do some changes so at any point of time after exploding you can change the name and you can save with a new block and now I am for doing the dynamic operation over the block I am going to open in block editor if you go to open in block editor you will get the same phone landline phone in your screen but the change here you can see is with a new panel known as block editor and here also the palette in order to control the different properties I will be applying here a property known as flip so that you can flip this phone when you want to position maybe just like a mirror command so I will go for the parameters and I'll go to flip so for selecting flip you need to define the reference line this is the first point and this is the second point and I'm defining this flip text status here and here you can see there is an arrow which symbolizes your flip symbol and with some yellow symbol that means we need to do some associated parameter action which is not done so here you can see the action button just like the parameters here you need to define the flip parameters so for defining the flip parameters I have to select the object which I need to include I will go to flip and you can see the selection option here I need to select the drawing object and first of all I need to select the flip symbol and I can select this and I can go for enter now you can see when you put your cursor these whole symbols are getting selected and how it is working you can test it by using this option test block if you go to test block and select this you can directly see how this is flipping this particular option can be used for doing a flip operation quick flip and I can close it and for finishing I can again close this and you will see one message save the changes to landline land phone yes now you can see this property is used here and whenever you, you want to use or you want to edit some properties you can come here to the editor and if you need to insert this block you can see landline phone you can directly insert this and later whenever required you can define the flip positions in this way you can use the powerful features of dynamic blocks other than the standard block which you use and we also look into the different advanced dynamic block features in our advanced lecture to understand specifically one by one options so this is just to understand and apply the basic features of dynamic block